In this section, I will cover relative effects on the EOS. Now, a relative effect is a type of effect where the console will apply math to alter a parameter around its current state. So let's take a look at an example of this. There are actually three different subtypes of relative effects, and we're going to look at each one of those right now. Let's start with the first one, which is a focus effect. And just like it sounds, focus effect will alter pan and tilt around a particular value. In this case, the value is the center of the circle. So I set the light where I want the center of the circle to be, apply the effect, and the console will move it, will move the light in a circle around that point. So let's look at that. In live, I'm going to select one of my Mac 700s and put it at a point on the back wall, and apply the preloaded effect 901, which is circle, and you can see that the console is making a circle relative to the center, which is where I had that light aimed. Now the center of that circle can come from a variety of sources. In this case, it was just a manual value because I put it there. But that center point can be recorded into a queue or into a submaster as well. And then the effect simply moves the light in the circle around wherever that light was pointed originally. So that's the nice thing about the relative effect is it's relative to where the light was. Let's look at a couple of different editing options I have for these effects. And to better illustrate this, I am going to apply this effect to all of my Mac 700s. Put them all at the same spot. And now apply the circle effect. And you'll see that by default, what the console is going to do is spread their grouping out. So the math is applied individually to each fixture to get it to get each fixture evenly spread around the circle, so we get a nice kind of telephone dial effect happening here. Now if I go into the effect, by double hitting the effect key and looking at effect 901, and I can change the grouping. Maybe I want two groups. The console can do that, or maybe I just simply want one group so that all of the lights are moving at the same point on the circle at the same time. Another option I have to edit this effect is using the trail feature. And what the trail feature allows us to do is essentially delay the channels in their order behind the first channel. So if I do a trail of, and I can choose here from one of my predetermined touch buttons, or I can simply type 5 to get 5%. Now we see that the first light leads, and the lights behind, the channels behind, will follow with a 5% lag time, if you will. So we get a follow the leader kind of situation here with trail. A different kind of relative effect is a color relative effect. And in this case, the console has an effect 914, which is a color relative effect, which is a hue saturation fade. So the console will fade between various hue and saturation values. If we apply that to our channels, we can see now that we have a very nice hue saturation fade going. And if we look at the color picker, we can see the values of each light and where it is running through the hue saturation fade. In this case, it's a green-blue. And finally, our third type of relative effect is a linear. And in this case, a newly created effect 917 is a zoom effect, and what you can see is that a linear effect takes a single parameter and alters its values over a period of time. So in this case, we have zoom coming up from a minimum value up to its maximum value and then back down to its minimum value over a time, and the time is variable. In this case, it is set to be cycle time of two seconds. So if I apply that effect as well to my channels, we can see that we have focus moving our lights around, we have color, and now we also have our zoom going in and out, in and out, in and out. Now once these effects are running, I have some really nice live editing features that I can do. If I go into displays and look at my effect status display, I can see the three effects that are currently running. And now simply by choosing which effect I want to modify, I get some values on my encoders that I can change. So if I take effect 901 
I can do things like adjust its rate or even its size just by moving the encoder. And if I want to do another example of this effect 917, because size now will affect how much of the zoom is actually affected here. So I can make it zoom just a little bit because that's a scalable effect. So as you can see, using the various types of relative effects, we can get some really, really neat things happening with our rig. And that is how you would use relative effects on the EOS.